Hey everyone, it's Emma. So today I'm going to be doing a video where I try a bunch of different snacks from a ton of different countries all over the world. This is going to be an unboxing video of Munch Pack. And they did send me this box to review on my channel, but I would have reviewed it anyway just because I love doing unboxings, especially when it has to do with food because I think it's really fun to like test different snacks on camera and tell you guys what I think of them. So these are snacks from all around the world. So you guys will not be familiar with all of them. You might be familiar with some of them, but some of them will also be new. And I think this is just super fun because I love trying different snacks and it'll be really cool to try things I've never heard of or tried before from like different countries. The box that I have here is the original Munch Pack and it starts at $21 a month, which sounds kind of expensive, but it's actually not because these are from all around the world, so if you were to like get all of them from all these different countries, it would be a lot of shipping, and it would be a long time for shipping. So this is actually a really good deal, and then they have a family pack, which starts at $39 a month, and it comes with 22 plus full-size snacks. Oh, and the original comes with 12 plus full-size snacks. Basically, this subscription service just gives you the option to try different snacks that you wouldn't be able to find at your regular grocery store. And if you guys are interested in Munchback, I'll have their website, a video explaining more about them, and also a coupon code in the description box. With that being said, I really hope you guys enjoy, and let's get started. I'm just going to kick off the newspaper, and this is funny, I don't know why I noticed this, but it's all like a different language. So even the newspaper has some fun culture to it. So this is what the inside of the box looks like. It's so colorful. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So first are these Kato, Taito, I don't know how to pronounce them. Oh my god, you guys, I'm so excited for this. These are spring onion flavored potato chips. And I can tell these are from Europe because they have a U in flavor. I think these are from Ireland. Yeah, Northern Ireland. So I'm really excited to try these. These are really good. They kind of just like the sour cream and onion Pringles to me, but they have a, like a little bit of a different flavor. The next thing we have is this Trancetto, Trancetto, I don't know. And I think it, this is from Italy because it's from the brand Balsoni. I think that's how you say it. I'm gonna pronounce a ton of things wrong, so please correct me if you are familiar with any of these snacks. And this just like cocoa on it, and it's in a different language, so I can't read it. But it basically just looks like a layered kind of cake with a chocolate filling. So. Ooh, it smells good. It kind of reminds me of like the Twinkie brand kind of things. It just looks like that. Ooh. That's a really weird flavor. I can totally tell it's not from America. Wow. First of all, it's super soft and their chocolate has like a really rich kind of, I don't really know how to describe it, but it's a really rich flavor and this is actually really good. It's so soft too. Next we have peach gummy candy. I'm not sure where this is from. It just says peach gummy candy on it. Ooh, it smells really good. Ooh, these are so cute. They're like little gumdrops. Mmm. My favorite candy is Peachios by Trolley Trolley. I don't know. Um, and this tastes like exactly like them, but even a little bit better. They are so good. And they're not like super chewy, which I really like. Next we have the Mango Rebel Cado Lollipop. It says with fruit pulp and it's chili covered. So I'm guessing it's like one of those Mexican lollipops. I'm not a huge fan of these, but I'm not sure. I will give it a try. It looks pretty good actually. And I do like spicy things. I'm not gonna try it on camera because it's a lollipop, but you guys can see what it looks like. Next we have this. I don't even know what this is. It just has a picture of a corn on the cob on it. So I'm guessing it's like, I really don't know what this is. I've been wondering what it is. So we're gonna find out right now. Oh, what is this? It's covered in like pesto or something. I don't even know. Basil, what am I saying? Pesto. It looks like that. It smells, it smells like a, cheese puff kind of whoa this is really good it has like the texture of a cheese puff like a cheeto puff but it's really flavorful this is so amazing i want to know where i can buy these these are so good next we have the eugenia cocoa biscuit sandwich and i'm not sure where this is from these are just like chocolate biscuits 
I know you guys are gonna freak out, but I'm not a huge fan of chocolate. So this is a little bit too chocolatey for me, but other than that, it's really good. And it has a chocolate filling in the center. Next we have Hai Chu, and these are really popular in America. Um, I think they're from somewhere in Asia. I'm not sure what country. And these ones are mango flavored, but they're kind of like Starburst, just a little bit chewier. Next we have Fruit Gums, and I'm familiar with this candy because half of my family is from England. So they go there a lot and bring like British candy back. And this is British candy. And I actually haven't tried these specific ones, I don't think. Um, but they look just like gummies and they come in different flavors. Oh, these are like hard-ish. They're like harder gummies. They taste familiar, but they're like, they have like a hard shell on the outside. I would like them to be a little bit more chewy, but other than that, they are really good. Next, we have these, and these are called Pajillion, and they are tiny, tasty, chewy candies. And this one is a strawberry. So let's see if I can open this. There we go. I've been wanting to try these because they look really good. This is like a really good strawberry flavor. Wow. They kind of taste like Pop Rocks, but like chewy. Next we have a traditional Amsterdam waffle and I got something similar to this in my Lovely Food subscription unboxing video. And it was really good. It's kind of like a biscuit and you can warm it up by dipping it in tea. Oh, this looks so good. I love these. So it just looks like that. It's so good. Oh my gosh. Mm. I think it has like a caramel filling in it too. Next thing are these Hello Panda biscuits and they're basically just cream filled biscuits and you can get these at like the Dollar Bin and Target. These are pretty popular too and these are the milk cream ones. So I'm going to go ahead and try these. I don't really like cho the chocolate ones because I'm not a huge fan of chocolate. I will eat chocolate but I'm not like a huge fan of it. So I've already tried these before, but in case you haven't tried them, I will show you what they look like. They just look like this. They have like a little picture of panda on it. Inside of the cookie, there is a really nice creamy filling in it. So those are what the Hello Panda cookies look like. The second to last thing are these Balsoni wafers and they look like vanilla flavored. You can also get these at most grocery stores. They look like this and I love these things so much. Oh my gosh. Mm. Basically they're just like thin layers of wafers and then they have little vanilla fillings or whatever filling that you get. You can get a strawberry or chocolate too and these are really, really good. The final thing are these Kiki Takis, fruit Takis. I don't know where these are from, but if you do know, comment down below and because I would love to know where they're from. And they just have pictures of fruit on them and it says Takis. So I will try one of these if I can open it. There we go. Okay, I will try the strawberry one. It has like a picture of st strawberries on it. And it looks exactly like a Starburst. It tastes exactly like a strawberry Haichu and it's just as chewy. So I would compare them to Haichu and they are really, really good. So that is everything in my Munch Pack original box. I really, really like this subscription and I think I will definitely subscribe. So I really recommend you guys check it out. Please let me know what you guys thought of this video in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!